saving of my video card software. And so now we're back and hopefully we can get to go through the Pali and English of the Panchasila, um, which is the five precepts, the training rules, and the Buddha Vandana, the Dhamma Vandana, and the Sangha Vandana. Maybe we're gonna uh, cut the video up there and then do maybe one of the suttas. And I think the Ratana Sutta, I don't have a video on the Ratana Sutta or even uh, the Mahamangala Sutta. I have a video or a study group on the Ka... what is that? Karaniya Mitatta Sutta. The Sutta on Friendliness, which is almost the same as the Mitta Sutta. So, yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> gonna get right into the Pali chanting of the Panchasila and the Vandanas. And so let me just see here on the screen. We should move a little bit closer again. Okay, this looks fine. So oh let me remove that one. Yeah, so we're here at the Bodhi tree, at the foot of the Bodhi tree, getting ready to do some daily contemplations. But first, the training rules. And here we go. Let's see. The Panchasila. Panatipata veramani sikaparang samadhyami Adina dana veramani sikaparang samadhyami Kame su micha chara veramani sikaparang samadhyami Musa wada Veramani Sikapadang Samadhyami Sura Medaya Matja Pamatatana Veramani Sikapadang Samadhyami Imani Pancha Sikapadani Samadhyami And this is to be Recollected three times. Imani pancha sika parani samadhyami. And for a third time. Imani pancha sika parani samadhyami. And the translation of the five, the five precepts. I undertake to observe the training or the precept to abstain from destroying living beings. I undertake to observe the precept to abstain from taking things not given. I undertake to observe the precept to abstain from sexual misconduct. I undertake to observe the precept to abstain from false speech. I undertake to observe the precept to abstain from liquor causing intoxication and heedlessness and drugs which is not in the text it actually only says liquor causing intoxication and heedlessness so any liquor or fermented food or goo or drugs that lead to heedlessness uh, where you cannot meditate and you cannot study and no practice that is no go so no alcohol at all and no drugs 
uh, leading to heedlessness. I undertake to observe the five precepts to the best of my ability. For a second time, I undertake to observe the five precepts to the best of my ability. And for a third time, I undertake to observe the five precepts to the best of my ability. Sadhu. Very good, very good. Joy. So, we have some precepts here. These are good to protect our, our own mind so we don't fall into evil deeds. And so these are like the f <laughs> yeah. these are like the fence posts or so I've heard. So the rules in themselves are not enough to sustain the whole life but they are like uh, the minimum these five precepts and the meditator should have eight precepts not to go to shows and watch TV and watch movies and music and not to uh, use beautification garlands and perfumes and gold and silver and not to sleep on high beds or high seats and not to eat um, <laughs> obviously uh, yeah, everyone has to eat something but it, the training rule for a meditator is not to eat outside of the appropriate uh, time frame which is from sunrise to noon so those three extra rules are like three extra fence posts for meditators because they quicken the process and they are very important if anyone is doing intensive meditation so no music to intensive meditators because it's just no good uh, to mix up the study of reality itself with things like these so that's a great reason to undertake eight or even just the five precepts and now continuing on to the Buddha Vandana this and the Dhamma Vandana and even the Sangha Vandana I think though these are the daily contemplations so we should try to remember these both in English or I mean in Pali and in English and I can pretty much remember the Buddha Vandana and the Dhamma Vandana but I have not practiced yet the Sangha Vandana and so I'm gonna be uh, winging it uh, in my Pali training so I get to train a little bit as well here but here we go make sure you follow along and the text um, I'm reading from is below so make sure to follow along so it is not just me sitting under the Bodhi tree talking inside my own or talking inside the head of my avatar so without further ado here we go the Buddha Vandana Itipi so Itipi so bakawa arahang samma sambuddho vicca charana sampano sukato loka vito anuttaro purisatamma sarati sata teva manu sanang buddho bakawati That got kind of melodic So it sometimes it's easier to remember if you have a little melody to it to the verse in the Pali in the beginning. So let me just say it one more time in the way that I have remembered the Buddha Vandana. Itipis 
iti piso pakawa arahang sama sambudo wija cara nasampano sukatu luka wedo anu taro puresa dama sarati sata dewa manusana udo pakawati and you can practice that or listen to other ones as well. And here is the translation. Homage to the Buddha. Buddha Vandana. Thus indeed is that blessed one. He is the Holy One, fully enlightened, endowed with clear vision and virtuous conduct, sublime, the knower of worlds incomparable leader of men fit to be tamed the teacher of gods and men enlightened and blessed moving on to the Dhamma Vandana the homage to the teachings the Dhamma Swakato Bhagavata Dhammo Sanditi Ko akaliko ehi pasiko opanayeko pachatang veri tapo wenyo hiti. And I can just do it one more time. Swakato pakawata tamo santitiko akaliko. Ehi pasiko o panayiko pachatang veri tapo winyo hiti. Translation Homage to the Teachings The Dhamma of the Blessed One is perfectly expounded to be seen here and now, not delayed in time, inviting one to come and see onward leading to Nibbana, to be known by the wise, each for himself. The Dhamma of the Blessed One is perfectly expounded, to be seen here and now, not delayed in time, inviting one to come and see, onward leading to Nibbana, to be known by the wise, each for himself. And just one more time for the Dhamma Vandana. Swakato Bhagavata Dhammo Santitiko Akaliko Ehi Pasiko Opanayiko Pachatang Veritapo Winyo Hiti homage to the teachings. The Dhamma of the Blessed One is perfectly expounded, to be seen here and now, not delayed in time, inviting one to come and see, onward leading to Nibbana, to be known by the wise, each for himself. And now, the Sangha Vandana, of which I have not been learned uh, any kind of melodic, beautiful way to remember him, so I'm gonna have to just read it and see how it goes. Oh, wait a minute. I have actually heard it. Okay, so I think I can tune into that. Okay, so here we go. Supatipano pakawato sawakasanko ujo patipano pakawato sawakasanko naya patipano pakawato sawakasanko samichi patipano pakawato sawakasanko Yati tang chitari purisa yugani atta purisa pukala esa 
Pakawato sa wakasangko Ahu neyo, pahu neyo, taki neyo, anjalikara neyo, anutarang punya ketang lokasati. And so, since I'm not very familiar with this one, I should train three times. Sangha Wandana. Let, let's just get the translation in as well. Homage to the disciples of the Buddha. The Sangha of the Blessed One's disciple has entered on the good way. The Sangha of the Blessed One's disciple has entered on the straight way. The Sangha of the Blessed One's disciple has entered on the proper way. That is to say, the four pairs of men, the eight types of persons. The Sangha of the Blessed One's disciple is fit for gifts, fit for hospitality, fit for offerings, and fit for reverential salutation, as the incomparable field of merit for the world. And two more times. Sangha Vandana. Super. Patipano Pakawato Sawakasanko Ujo Patipano Pakawato Sawakasango Naya Patipano Pakawato Sawakasanko Samichi Patipano Pakawato Sawakasanko Yati dang chitari puri sa yukani atta puri sa pukala isa pakawato sa wakasanko ahuneyo pahuneyo takineyo anjalikaraniyo anutarang punyaketang lokasati. And just one more time. Sankawantana Supatipano Pakawato Sawakasanko Ujo Patipano Pakawato Sawakasanko Naya Patipano Pakawato Sawakasanko Samichi Patipano Pakawato Sawakasanko Yati Tang Chitari Purisa Yukani Atta Purisa Bukala Isa Pakawato Sawakasanko Ahuneyo Bahuneyo Dakineyo Anjali Karaneyo Anutarang Punya Ketang Lok Kasati. Translation Homage to the Disciples of the Buddha The Sangha of the Blessed One's Disciple has entered on the good way. The Sangha of the Blessed One's Disciple has entered on the straight way. The Sangha of the Blessed One's Disciple has entered on the proper way. That is to say, the four pairs of men, the eight types of persons. The Sangha of the Blessed One's disciple is fit for gifts, fit for hospitality, fit for offerings, and fit for reverential salutation as the incomparable field of merit for the world. And let me just read the English version as well for a third time. Translation Homage to the disciples of the Buddha. The Sangha of the Blessed One's disciples has entered on the good way. The Sangha of the Blessed One's disciples 
has entered on the straight way. The Sangha of the Blessed One's disciples has entered on the proper way, that is to say, the four pairs of men, the eight types of persons. The Sangha of the Blessed One's disciples is fit for gifts, fit for hospitality, fit for offerings and fit for reverential salutation as the incomparable field of merit for the world. Piti, piti, piti. And I think we should end this video here. And I'm going to be looking at the Pali um, in English of at least one of these suttas. I might take the long one. And so thank you so much for listening and taking part in doing the daily contemplations, the wandanas, and remembering the five training rules and the eight training rules for meditators. And make sure to check out part one to this video where we do the normal wandana and then going for refuge uh, taking refuge in the three jewels and I think we should we should uh, end this video off doing the Dhamma wandana because the Dhamma is absolutely fit for worship, even for Buddha and Buddha himself. And with that in mind, here we go. Dhamma Vandana Swakat to pakawata tamo santitiko akaliko ehi pasiko opanayiko pachatang veditapo winyo hitin. Homage to the teachings, the Dhamma. The Dhamma of the Blessed One is perfectly expounded. To be seen here and now, not delayed in time, inviting one to come and see, onward leading to Nibbana, to be, to be known by the wise, each for himself 